Welcome to STA Academy. Today we are going to discuss about TS and AP MSET top 20 MCQs questions for physics. Before going to start the video for more update for latest information on TS and AP MSET please subscribe to our channel and the press the bell icon to get notified. Let us see these 20 questions we have given for the chapter straight line. The first question is which of the following is one dimensional motion? Landing of an aircraft or earth revolving around the sun or motion of wheels of a moving train or train running on a straight track. The train running on a straight track represent one dimensional motion. This is the answer for this. Second question, very important question. An athlete complete one round of a circular track of radius in 40 seconds. What will be the displacement at the end of 2 minutes and 20 seconds? We know that 2 minutes and 20 seconds are total 140 seconds. So this is given here and you need to find out the displacement and total displacement is 2R. Next question is third one very important question. A particle moves along a semicircle of radius 10 meter in 5 second average velocity. You know the formula of the average velocity total displacement by total time taken. So the total displacement for a semicircle is 2R. The R is given just substitute time is given you will get the average velocity. Next is Again, very important question, a, travel, a car travel half of the distance with constant velocity 40 km and remaining half of the distance. Remember this formula for average velocity is for equal distance of half, means half equal equal distance if you have you can use this formula, this very important formula just substitute the velocities which are given. Next is fifth question very important uh, the first um, uh, equation of straight line we are using we know that there are three important formulas of straight line first is v is equals to u plus a t and second is s is equals to u t plus half a t square and third is third equation is v square minus u square is equals to 2 a s. So here we are using first equation as it says the body moves from rest rest means the initial velocity is 0 with constant acceleration is given you need to find out the velocity just substitute in the formula v is equals to u plus at you will get the answer next question is a motor a car moving with uniform speed speed is given come to stop after applying a brake after traveling a distance of 10 meters acceleration so here initial velocity a car moving with uniform velocity is given and if it stop the final velocity becomes zero initial velocity is given final is zero and the distance is given just substitute in the third equation v square minus u square is equals to 2 a s you will get the answer next question is which of the following graph represent the uniform acceleration remember the first one is showing uniform acceleration that is your answer next is a train 150 meter length is going towards north direction at a speed of this a parrot flies at the speed of 5 meter per second towards south direction parallel to the railway tracks the time taken by the parrot time taken formula you know that time taken the formula is distance by time you need to find out sorry distance by speed so if the speed of the train is 10 meter per second and parrot parrot fly parallel both speed uh, we know the relative for velocity formula v a minus v b the same formula you have to apply here and you substitute you will get 15 and after time is uh, speed is 15 substitute in the formula of distance by speed you will get the answer next question a very important question a body travels for 15 seconds starting from rest with constant acceleration if it travel the distance as one as 2 in the first first 3 and first second in the first 5 second and first 5 second second and next 5 seconds so respectively the find the relation between them remember if the body start from rest and move with constant velocity then the ratio of the distances for a consecutive interval of time is 1 is to 3 is to 5 that is an odd number next question is very important question a car moving with speed of 10 40 km per hour can be stopped by applying brakes at at least after 2 meter so if the same car is moving with the speed see remember the first situation it says 40 km and the distance was 2 meter in the second it's saying the, if the distance is double remember this is very easy if the distance is double the sorry if the speed is double here 40 km and here second situation 80 km if the speed is double distance will be increased by 4 factor just multiply 4 with the first one distance the first distance is 2 you will get the answer for into 2 that is 8 remember this is a very easy formula so when speed is given and 
in the second situation the speed get doubles and the distance increase by 4 factor just multiply with the given distance with 4 you will get the answer here 4 into 2 that is 8 next question is 11th question very important question three different object of masses m1 m2 m3 are allowed to fall from rest from a same point along three different frictionless path the speed of the three object on the reaching the ground see if both are releasing from the same height it is given the situation here the speed of falling the speed of the object falling freely due to gravity depend upon its height non not on its mass since the path are frictionless and the object fall through through the same height therefore the speed on reaching the ground will be in the ratio 1 is to 1 is to 1 this is a very important question next and the very important question if the distance cover if a total if a car cover 2 by 5th of the total distance with velocity 1 and 3 by 5th with velocity v2 the average speed the total distance average speed formula is different formula from average velocity average speed total distance traveled by total time taken suppose the total distance is x time formula you can find out t1 by t1 plus t2 the time formula is distance by speed just substitute the formula you will get the answer this is next next question 13 if a body start from a point a and travel to point b at a distance of 1.5 km and return to a so remember if a body goes to point b and comes to again to the initial position the velocity the average velocity becomes zero next is a particles travel 10 meter in first five seconds and 10 meter in next three seconds the total is eight seconds assuming constant acceleration what is the distance traveled by in next two seconds that is total time is first five seconds is five seconds next next three seconds it's eight and next two seconds is ten so here what it is given here if let the initial velocity be let the initial time is equals to zero and velocity initial velocity is equals to u first five seconds the motion the distance is s5 is equals to 10 meter next use the formula of s is equals to ut plus half it is square uh, substitute the s value and initial velocity we know that the time first 5 second means time is 5 u plus half a t square you will get the first equation next 3 seconds is after 5 next 3 second is 8 as 8 is equals to how much 20 meters 20 meter uh, substitute here 20 equals to 8 u plus half a t square you will get second equation from that you will get the uh, if you are solving first and second you will get the initial velocity and acceleration substitute in the 10 second you will get the answer some minus s10 minus s8 you will get the answer for this one this is brief uh, about question number 14 next is a particle move on a straight line such that its displacement at a time the displacement is given the velocity when the acceleration is zero we know the formula for velocity ds by dt just differentiate you will get 60 minus 12 acceleration again if you do the acceleration 60 acceleration formula is dv by dt next after doing this substitution suppose for example distance is given velocity formula is ds by dt just differentiate the distance you will get the velocity on x if the velocity when the acceleration is zero the word velocity formula is a is equals to dv by dt again the time you need to find out the acceleration is zero just in place of acceleration 60 minus 12 t is equals to zero you will get the time t is equals to time and then one is, what you need to find out the velocity when the acceleration is zero substitute in the formula you will get the answer the time is two seconds the, this time two seconds you have to substitute in the velocity then you will get the answer for the velocity when the acceleration is zero this is brief and uh, next sixth one the very important question 16 1 in a straight line motion the distance covered is proportional to the square root of the time taken then the acceleration of the particle is proportional to the answer is v cube this is a very important question next is 17th question very important question a particle is thrown vertically upward its velocity is half at the maximum height you know that velocity is half at if its velocity at half of the maximum height sorry if its velocity half of the maximum height is 10 meter then the maximum height attained by it so maximum height formula we know that h is equals to u square by 2g or you can use when the particle is half of the height h by 2 its speed 
is 10 meter per second you can use the second equation v square minus u square is equals to 2 gh this formula substitute you will get the velocity substitute in the high, maximum height distance formula you will get the answer next is a man throw a ball downward from a roof of a tower of height 400 meter at the same time another ball is thrown upward with velocity 50 meter per second from the surface of the tower then at which height from the surface of the tower they will meet uh, substitute, substitute this distance is 400 meters by using this formula h is s is equals to ut plus half at square or as it is going against the gravity the formula is changed s is equals to ut minus half gt square substitute this you will get the answer 80 meters next is 19 question displacement is given how long does the ball take to comes to rest you need to find out next is displacement is given just substitute uh, by comparing uh, you can get the answers Sub so, so the displacement is you, you know the formula for displacement uh, when u is the initial velocity and a is the acceleration comparing the expression y is equals to ut plus half at square so u is how much 16 and a is how much minus 4 by 3 when you compare with the given equation with s is equals to ut plus half at square you will get the answer and it says v is equals to u plus at for the velocity uh, when velocity is 0 what is the time substitute here u and a you will get the answer for time next is a 210 meter long train is moving due north at 25 meter per second a small bird is flying due south a little above the train with speed time taken by the bird to cross the train substitute relative velocity take out the relative velocity of both and when you get the relative velocity you know the time formula distance by speed you will get the answer this is brief for 20 question more questions for important questions for m set please subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends thanks for watching